Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of the Valentine's soft pink makeup look I'm doing. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been with me, thank you. And if you don't like me or my videos, please don't fucking watch me. Um, I already did this in part one, so if you want to see how I got this look, please head over there. I ended up using some Stila um, glitters and shimmers. Um, and I'm just going to finish off my face. I am going to do an undercover underbrow highlight real quick, which I forgot to do. I'm going to mix these two a little bit. And we're going to jump right back in and get this done. So I'm going to take Gleam and a tiny bit of Burst. Just set that right there. More Gleam than anything. <laughs> That's my favorite. This one and Stunner are so similar and they're my favorite. Whoops. Keep it even. Okay, yeah, I feel better now. <laughs> I can move on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my face real quick. Um, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. This is the matte one, and this is in color white as hell. <laughs> Fair Sand. And then I'm going to take the Dior Forever, um, and this is in the shade, I don't know, 022. That's the only thing I can find on it. I shake both these up really good. So I'm going to take the Tarte, and I've already primed my face. I use a bunch of primers. You didn't miss nothing. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go all over, and then we'll use that other one, because this one's a little too light for me. Not that much light, but enough. It's so weird to do this out of this bottle. Okay. There we go. Yeah. We got dots over here and we got straight lines over here. Why not, huh? And I, I need a lot of coverage today. That's why I'm going so ham. And my face is not happy with me. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this um, Dior Forever and put it on the back of my hand. Oof. And I'm still trying to see how these, you know, foundation, this foundation works with the, all of them. So we're going to take a little bit of that Dior and start whoop, blending it out. Oh, I already need some more. Feel the cake. Oh yeah. And I'm just using It Cosmetics. It's the heart shape brush. I don't really know the name of it. Um, so I'm sorry. I know you can find it at Ulta sometimes, but I know it's limited edition. And I know they bring it back every once in a while. So that's all I know about it. I'm sorry. But since I got it, I haven't used a beauty blender to do my foundation, so I'm really loving it. I'm going to go down my neck a little because, like I said, these aren't my perfect shades. One more little tiny baby pump. Ooh. And then I just kind of pat it in and swipe it as I go. I put a lot of concealers on anyways, so I'll fix my under eyes. All right, get that done. I do really like that Shape Tape foundation a lot, so I've been loving it. All right, next, 
I'm going to go in with some cream contour. I'm going to use my Kat Von D cream contouring palette. And looks like that. And I kind of just go in with these two lighter shades. Um, I feel like I need to add a little oil to it. So I'm going, ooh, so I'm going to. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to wait on this. And I'm going to go ahead and conceal. And then we'll do that. Um, actually, I think that would be a better idea. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of the NARS Soft Matte um, Concealer. Stick this down first. A little bit of a thicker consistency. It's such a good product, I forget to use it all the time. I just use my finger, sometimes I use a brush with this. It just, it's very soft, so you don't need to. Um, you can use both, but we're going to do that. And this is in the shade Chantilly. I always use the lightest shades of everything. And then I'm going to take a little bit of shape tape and go over that. And then I'm going to take the Born This Way concealer. Like I said, I use a lot, I know, but I have reasons. And I'm just going to pull that out. This, these, these are a little more hydrating, so I like to mix them with the shape tape. Just to make sure that I whoop, stay hydrated and get all of my nose. Okay. There's that. And then I'm going to take my Tarte um, cookie sponge this out real quick. Hopefully it doesn't give any problems. Uh -oh. I got some up there that we didn't want. Woo! Uh oh. We've hit the eyebrows. We have hit the eyebrows. I repeat. We have hit our eyebrows. Shit. I didn't bring any eyebrow stuff with me in here either to fix them. So that's just what we got. Fuck. Oh, I don't. I like this sponge, but I don't. My other one's easier for me to use. I just haven't used this in a while, but it's making a mess of my concealer everywhere. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, the eyebrows got hit. It's okay. We'll live. All right, and then now we're gonna go into cream contour. I am gonna stick a tiny bit of the Tarte Maracuja oil on it, just to creamy it up a little bit. When I don't use these after a while, they get kind of dried out, so I like to stick a little drop onto them. Hopefully. Um, let me get my little, I have these new brushes I want to use, so I think I'm gonna, this is the Morphe Me, um, subscription, and, and this is the G42, I just want to see, because I always use the same little brush, so I thought maybe we'll try to switch it up a little bit, so I'm just mixing that around a little bit, let's see if we can blend it out a little bit. This one's so thin. This would be a good nose contouring one. Huh. Okay. I should have sprayed this brush. I think that's what I'm missing. Yeah, I don't really like this brush for it. Huh. 
Okay, I'm just using it to lay down everything, so we'll blend it out with our normal one, I think. Oof, we made a mess. Okay. She's on there. Not very bright, but she is. Um, I'm going to take this brush that I always use and my Smashbox Primer Water. Shake it. And I spray just a little bit on here, this brush. I don't really think that brush added very much to you. Maybe it's just me. A little blender out anyways. We add powder, so it'll be alright. You guys probably see it way darker than it is in real life, so you're probably like, nope, it's fine, so you got a lot, but in real life it doesn't look like there's much on there. Alright, that'll be fine. Alright, I would just stick this back in there because I don't want to drop it because it's already spraying kind of funky. Hold on, there we go. Okie dokie. Um, let's see, what do we got next? Powder. Okay. So I'm going to take the Patrick powder, the Patrick and Matt collab. I'm going to stick a little bit in here, hopefully. God dang it. There it goes. Alright. And I'm going to take my sponge that I used and I'm going to press that in. Hopefully gently. There we go. I'm going to stick it everywhere I put that um, concealer. I hate putting it in the cap. I should have remembered not to do that. see and set the rest of my face right back into the cap I didn't even think about it again uh -huh. yep come on it's a lot of powder on there <laughs> and press it in I can't believe I dinged my eyebrows so bad today. They were already pretty messed up anyways. I was struggling with them, so that's okay. I just wish I could get my other one to be messed up with it, but I have one funky eyebrow and one not funky eyebrow, huh? That's okay. All right, next I'm going to bronze. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer, and this is in the shade Bronzed. And... Big old fluffy brush. <sighs> Baby hairs are like no joke. I swear to God. Always trying me. Yeah, I'm a little off if you guys can't tell, huh? Okay, that'll do. And then I'm going to grab my blush and my contour, and then we'll finish the rest of these eyes real quick. So for blush, I'm going to use the Tarte Risqué Blush. Oops. 
like that. And this blush is very forgiving. <laughs> it's buildable. It stays forever. It's like my favorite blush. Are we blushed? Are we good? Are we blended good? Yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Kit and I'm gonna grab this middle shade. Oh, no, the lighter one, sorry, this one. Give me, actually I'm gonna mix both of them, fuck it. Just a little bit in the hollows of my cheeks. I need a little mirror here to see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. I always go a little darker under my chin to kind of block out that fat. What we got going on? And then take a little tiny bit around the edges. More closer to, oop, wrong color. We're closer to my hairline. Mm. Okay. I feel like we're good. I think that's good. Good enough. All right, let's finish the under eyes real quick. I'm gonna go back into the Huda palette and I'm really just gonna use these two colors real quick underneath. Um, I'm not gonna go too heavy. <clears throat> I might actually use a little bit of the purple on the outer. So, we'll keep that by there too. Okay. So, I need my little um, brushes for underneath my eye. And I wonder how difficult they're all going to make it. Nope. Give me. Yeah. Okay. I got them all out, so hopefully that'll go quicker. <laughs> I'm going to clean them off real quick just to make sure they're all clean. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dip into Shy and Flamingo. Let's stick that, oh, I just dug into it. Oh, I need to put these brushes down, hold on, because I'm digging into my palette, it's freaking me out. Okay. Do, do, do. You get it? Yeah, we got it. Okay. And then I'm going to get that on my way, and I'm going to grab the Huda, the Huda Obsessions Electric Palette, and I'm going to grab that purple again. And on a wee bitty tiny small baby brush, we're going to grab that and go along my lash line real quick. And match it up with the purple up top a little bit. I guess I'm being a little more sloppy than I wanted to be because it got a little bit lower than my lash line, so that happens. It's okay. It all works the same anyways. Okay. I just want a little color under there anyways, so it don't have to be perfect. Ooh, okay. I did stick that in my eyeball a couple times, but that's all right. Will live. Okay, good enough, good enough. Then I'm going to go into the um, Makeup Forever Aqua XL uh, black liner again. I'm going to go along my waterline. Am I doing this right? Okay. I'm recording guys, I'm almost done. If you don't want YouTube to hear your whole conversation. Okay, there we go. 
So now let's do a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash. And I wonder who knows what I'm going to use. <laughs> I'm going to use the Matte Gig Black Lash. It's my favorite for my lower lash line. Okay, here we go. I don't have really any darker colors to like cover up my mess up, so I gotta try to be a little careful. Okay. So far so good. Hmm. Okay. Everything always looks better once you get lashes and liner on. Like the look looks a little bit better to me now than it did when we first started off. I don't know why I did that purple on the end, but Oh no. Oh I lost it. Shit, come back. Hold on, I don't want to forget it. Oops, I bumped you guys, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I don't want to lose this underneath my bed. My dog Cheetah like runs and hides and puts everything underneath our bed, so I don't want her getting a hold of it. All right, let's do some Mac Fix Plus real quick. Melt those powders together. Nope. All right, and I'm gonna go into the Urban Decay Afterglow um, Eight Hour Powder Highlighter in the color Sin. Just like that. I don't really use this that often, so I thought we'd bring out some stuff I don't use a lot. My brushes are getting messed up over there. All right, I forget why I don't use this a lot. Bless you. It's really good though. I should use it more, huh? I'm telling you, I've used this a hundred times and I still don't have a dent in it though. It's funny. See, we need a little bit smaller of a mirror here. There we go. And I soak my face in a highlight because I'm addicted to it. So feel free not to go as heavy as I am. I'm just obsessed with it. Mm. I think we're good. Oh, those eyebrows are so messed up. Dang it. So mad about it. All right. Now I'm going to go into this little tart one again, and I'm going to use Gleam and go over that one more little time, just to kick it up a notch. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to do my inner corner real quick before I forget. And then we'll do lips and we'll be done. Come on, brush. All right, I'm gonna go into Gleam and Burst again. Stick that right there for a little inner corner highlight. Okay. Like I said, I put a lot of highlighter on everything. Probably more than I should, but I don't give a fuck. Do what makes you happy, right? Okay, that's good, that'll do. And then, let's see, lipstick. So for my lips, I'm gonna do a soft pink kind of look. Um, I'm gonna use my Bite Beauty lip liner and I can, Glace is the color. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna use it. And then I'm going to use the ColourPop in Little Citrus. This is like one of my favorites, why I use it so much, but I just like how it feels on my lips. Okay. 
Any on our teeth? Nope. Good. Wait. Yeah, we're good. Alright, and that is it, you guys. I'm gonna spray my face and we done. Um, I am going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Alright, so this is the final look, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry I've been MIA. Um, hopefully I'll get some of these Valentine's looks, looks that I want to get done done for Valentine's Day so they're relevant. Um, yeah, this is the look we came up with. So I used the Stila in Enchantress and I did add a little bit of the Stila Gypsy. So that's what we came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much and um, I'll see you in my next one. Peace.